This is why I feel like the Catholic Identity Conference is so important because, um, like for example, people talk about it's so discouraging nowadays. Nobody pays any attention to what's happening to real Catholics living in the real world. And I say to them, did you ever think in a million years that a day was coming when the head of the CDF under Pope Benedict XVI, Gerhard Cardinal Muller, would be appearing at the Catholic Identity Conference, the premier traditional Catholic conference in the world. And people say, well, you know, you got to do something. What are you going to do? You talk a lot about it, but what are you going to do? Okay, how about this? How about we go get the head of the CDF under Pope Benedict, the top theologian in the church just five years ago, to come and address the Catholic Identity Conference. This is kind of a big deal, mm -hmm. right? So that's gonna happen this weekend. So I, I think it's really important for people to realize that we're not just doing another conference this weekend. This is like a, 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 ver a very important piece of Catholic action that people should get behind, right? Because. Mm -hmm. If there's any chance of influencing you know, not only the Synod on Synodality, which, which begins now in a few weeks, but also the next conclave, like what's going to happen with, if Francis stacks the deck and he has all the cardinals that are going to make sure that another Francis II is elected, what's going to happen if that, if that comes to fruition? What we have to do is try to apply maximum pressure on... Uh, the good bishops and cardinals that we have in the church today who recognize a problem. Cardinal Muller, who will be at the, con the Catholic Identity Conference, has already made it, made, it, made it known that the Synod on Synodality is going to be a hostile takeover of the Catholic Church. He comes to our conference and he reinforces that. He asserts it again. So we have the ability now for the lay people to tap into this conference and to show support for those cardinals and bishops, the ones that we have, to show support for them. So when they go to the Synod on Synodality to try to, to you know, to, to, to impart some influence, some, you know, try to stop what's coming, it's going to matter because they have people all over the world who are supporting them. Do you see what I'm saying? Of course, yeah. And also it kind of provides them cover, right? Absolutely. Not only not only the the the, the, the covers for the for the individuals right. or for the cardinals, but also there are a lot of bishops in the world right now who are wondering what to do, because what's happening it's not just about the traditional Latin Mass versus the new Mass. You know, some some ideas of liturgy. What we have now, when you think about, and and Cardinal Muller has talked about this. When you talk about Davos, the World Economic Forum, Agenda Twenty Thirty, which he has already said. The Vatican is now promoting these things. So you can say, well, there's not going to be any chance of bishops waking up to the traditional Latin Mass issue. And that's true. There won't be, likely, in any case. But there is a very good chance that a lot of bishops are going to realize that what's happening with the Vatican right now in their support of something like Agenda 2030, the United Nations, the World Economic Forum, that's going to come after them very soon. They're going to be facing this. Mm -hmm. Are they going to? Are they going to oversee? Are they going to approve gay marriage? Right? If they don't, it's going to be a hate crime in a very few in a very few years. I I, I firmly believe this. Mm -hmm. If they hold the Catholic position, based on Catholic moral teaching, moral theology, on something like homosexuality, the the the, the, the day is coming when they are going to be accused themselves of being. Uh, guilty of hate, of homophobia. Mm -hmm. This is something that Cardinal George talked about, where he said, my successor in Chicago mm -hmm. could end up in jail, in prison. He'll die in prison. So I think there's a very realistic chance that there are a bunch of, uh, several bishops who are going to be looking at what's happening in the Vatican right now. And they're going to say, this is going to come after me eventually. Mm -hmm. And so that's the whole point and purpose of the Catholic Identity Conference, to wake people up. Like, no, it's not just a matter of traditionalists versus progressive versus mm -hmm. neo-Catholics. It's a matter of the movers and shakers of a new world order trying to crush the Catholic Church, crush mm -hmm. the bishops, priests, faithful, who are true to the traditions of our Catholic faith. And that's something I think could be an impetus for a lot of people to actually stand up and resist. So we as lay people have to do everything we possibly can to encourage these bishops and these cardinals to make them understand mm -hmm. that we have their backs, that we will support them. His numbers still matter, even in the Vatican. So the CIC is effectively sending that message to the Vatican then? Absolutely. There's a lot of support backing these guys. Absolutely. And we have, we have an obligation as lay Catholics to step into the breach and say, we will support you. So this father, this, this Bishop X that we're having, people are saying, who is Bishop X? Well, we're going to find out Saturday night who Bishop X is. But what I would love to see 
is for a lot of people around the world. We already have thousands of people who are joining this conference this weekend. Let's make it bigger. Let's make it a lot of people. I mean, I'm talking tens of thousands of people join this conference. So the Vatican will see now on the, on the, on the eve of the Synod that there are significant numbers of Catholics who are simply not going to put up with this again. They're already crushing the Latin Mass. They did it once before. Now they're going to do it again. And we're just going to take it just like they did 40 years ago in the church. No, there's absolutely no way that we're going to put up with this. And so I think this conference is much different than than, than just another conference. This is Catholic action in action in, in that we have now hierarchical representation. We have several bishops. We have a cardinal. We have several archbishops who are going to be at this conference. And, and, and many lay people. We even have people like New York City police officers who refuse the jab, for example, um, talking about what that was like. So we have a lot from, there's a, there's a wide gamut of, of Catholic activists going all the way up to hierarchical figures who are saying to the Vatican and to the world that traditional Catholics, faithful Catholics, are simply, we've had enough, we've had enough, and we're not going to do this anymore. And I think that's the, the, the real um, special nature of this conference, that we, we have that ability, given what, who is represented here, given that we have hierarchical representation, that this is a chance for all of us to show these, 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 uh, these shepherds, bishops and cardinals, what we've said so many times in the, fa- in the past. If you take the stand, the difficult stand, we will be your best defenders in the world. We're going to stand with you. And this is a chance for all of us to make good on that promise, you know, to actually show them, we got you, we got your back. And that's what this, uh, this conference is all about. So what are the viewers, what do you want them to do? Just to sign up for this, especially for this, the live stream of this conference, because we want to be able to say to the Vatican, send a message on the eve of the, of the Synod now, that tens of thousands of us have had enough. We're watching you, like they say. We're watching you. We know exactly what you're doing. We're not going along with this again. Your, your, your listening, church, is nonsense. We know what you're doing. We are not going along. We're not deceived. So I think the more people that can, can get involved with this conference, the Catholic Identity Conference, um, the stronger the, the stronger the message that can be sent to the Vatican that that, that, that they're not actually fooling people. That that, that most people, most faithful. <laughs> The vast majority of faithful Catholics have had enough of this. And the Catholic Identity Conference is all about that. It's all about this. The theme of the conference this year is persecution uh, and, and, and the, the, vic- the victory that comes from the persecution. Um, we've seen this with the Cristeros, with the Vandeas. We're experts on dealing with persecution. We understand what persecution means. And, and this conference is going to say, you know what? You want to come for us? You want to take our, take our lives? You want to go after us like that? Go right ahead. Because ultimately, when you, when you bring all the force down upon us, just like the Cristeros, just like the Vandeans in the past, just like the English martyrs in the past, ultimately we win. Because now we're done. Now we've seen enough of what you're doing. And we've had quite enough. And if you're going to try to take our lives or persecute us or whatever your, whatever your plans are, it doesn't matter. Because ultimately, the same victory, when they, when they, when they went into the Colosseum and they crushed the, the Christians and they fed them to the lions and they killed the, you know, the young children, the young people of, uh, uh, in early Christian times, what comes out of that? Christendom is born. And that's what we're going to see again. So this conference is all about that. We're not running away this time. We're done. We're simply done taking this uh, from the Vatican. We're not deceived. We're not fooled. And the more people that get involved with this, I think the more, the better chance that we have of the Vatican actually realizing they got a problem in us.